is self-identification, identification by others. <clears throat> but Pashtuns, why do we call them a tribe? Actually, they're the largest tribal group in the world. And by tribe, I mean people that organize themselves on the basis, at least theoretically, on the basis of descent from a common ancestor. A Pashtun, all 15, 20 million of them, in theory, can make a huge pyramidal genealogy that takes them back to the founding ancestor. Now, there's some contradictions in this because their founding ancestor, they say, is a companion of the prophet, which makes them, you know, like first to join Islam, which is useful when we say we get to religion. But the Pashtuns also claim that they helped defeat Alexander the Great. Well, wait a minute. There was no Islam in the time of Ali. So Pashtuns claim their founding ancestors of the time of the prophet in the 600s, and yet they have a history that goes back to 1000 BC. Where's the contradiction? The contradiction rarely comes up because people don't ask. You know? But you can, you can sort of see, if you begin picking at these things, they're real problems. These, so that these things are not, they're not DNA genealogies. They are ways to organize people. Think about it as an interstate highway. All right? You can get from here to San Francisco as long as you get on the interstate. Just don't get off. The problem is when you get off, if you're using Interstate 80, if you get off in San Francisco or you get off in New York, you're going to get lost because there you need local knowledge. Same thing with these genealogies. When you're moving down the big ones, it's really easy. Get down to the bottom, it's really fixed. A Danish anthropologist that I worked with found a group in northern Afghanistan. His group had just moved there. They were Pashtuns. And the group that had moved ran into a group that lived there, and they said, we have the same name, the same clan name. We must be related. But they didn't know how. They held a three-day conference to look at genealogies, to relate themselves. And finally, they said, you know, a hundred years ago, there was the brother of so-and-so who went to the north, and we never heard of him again. You must be his descendants. And they said, yes, we are. Now we are brothers. Now, <laughs> now was that true? Probably not. But once they made it, it was socially true. Similarly, if you have a dispute with a group, you can start snipping a few branches up at the top. We're not related to those people. They were never brothers. They weren't even cousins. He was the slave of our group who took that name. They're not even real Pashto. A lot of you know, inside baseball here. But it's dissent that's important. With the